This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In this episode of On Drop Rate, we're going to be killing the Wilderness boss Callisto, and the item we're going for is the 1 in 512 Tyrannical Ring. During the entire video, I'm going to be using a Slayer Helmet, and I am going to be on a Wilderness Slayer task the entire time for the chance of getting a Laren's Key. I'm actually not going to open these on the video, I'm saving them for a Laren's Key video in the future, but just know I will get the Slayer bonus during the video. Now they are going to of course be reworking the wilderness bosses in like two months or something like that, so you won't probably be able to do these safe spots anymore, but all of the kills I'm going to be doing is going to be with this safe spot right here. It is very easy to set up, takes like literally 15 seconds to do, and after that you basically just hit the boss. And what is the first skill going to be? 312 Slayer Experience and Limbert Roots. By the way, this area right here is multi-combat, and last time I was at Callisto, I got attacked by like a 12-man team all in salad robes who just one-shot me, so hopefully that is not going to happen too many times during this grind. And that is the end of the first trip, we actually managed to get 10 kills, and because Callisto's defense is so ridiculously high, I started with 1.3k charges, and I'm now at 591, so we're going to be losing quite a lot of money in the charges, but uh, the weapon is so good here, so I just kind of have to use it, and the money that we actually got from that is 887k, so most likely we're going to be making a lot of money here, regardless of the ether. You know, I really am considering bringing Thralls. I was not initially really keen on it because it is some extra risk with more runes and also you have to bring the Book of the Dead and if you die and lose, you have to reclaim. It's just really annoying overall. But uh, the defense of Callisto is just so ridiculously high. You can see I'm missing like all the time. So having Thralls for that consistent damage could be a really good thing. What are we going to get for kill number 11? E Death runes. Yeah, sadly it's going to be taking up 4 inventory slots with the runes and the Book of the Dead. I don't really want to risk a rune pouch, so I'm just going to do it this way and let's try it out, see if it's any better. Actually, if you don't kill the Callisto fast enough, it starts healing and I do think that the damage from the Thrall is consistent enough with my crossbow to actually not really have to deal with much healing, so it might actually be a pretty big difference. Oh, that did not take long at all. A first Laren's Key, also with an uncut diamond and ruby drop. Pretty nice, not the best uh, drop from Callisto itself, but the Laren's Key is definitely saving that. Well, it is not looking good. This is probably the first death of the grind, like 25, 26 kills in, something like that. And I'm going to be losing a Laren's Key from this, so that is kind of unfortunate. If they do splash freezes now, though, I can maybe teleport. I only need to get two levels and I'm teleblocked. Yeah, I'm probably dead at this point. Wait, did I gap them? Am I actually gapping them? I th think I am. They must have screwed up there. Oh my god, I'm fine, I think. That is such a screw-up on their part. If one of them just pushed further a bit, I would have been 100% dead. 25 HP, and I got the world up. No, that's the wrong dragon item. I want the pickaxe. This is actually even more rare. This is 133k. 1 in 256, the pickaxe is 1 in 170 and it's 8 million. I'm going to be honest, so far I'm not very impressed with the PKers who have been attacking me. Most of them are in like Black Dehyde and Mystics. No really maxed players are attacking people here. So I guess it's not that risky to be here even though it is multi. Mo oh my god, I just got DDS'd out the wazoo, oh my god. Oh, I was actually waiting for that. The first elite clue scroll of the grind. These are 1 in 100 if you do not have the imbued ring of wealth, which I'm not using, so probably going to get like 5 of them on this grind. I swear, every single time I get this food drop is at the beginning of a trip where I can't pick any of it up. Wait, these guys are actually doing like no damage to me, and I do have a plan. I think maybe I can get Callisto to aggro on them. I do have a decent amount of food, so I have some time. If I run up here, maybe I can like get Callisto. Oh, I think Callisto is aggroed on him now. And now I just run up here and through here. Is that the push? Oh my god, no way. Am I getting away? <laughs> oh my god, they got so baited. Easy. 
This is the last kill of the Slayer task, and I'm going to keep doing Wilderness Slayer until I get a new Bear task. It should not be that bad. I think it has decent weighting, and overall, I need to do Wilderness Slayer for other reasons as well. Ooh, that is a hefty task. 96 Callisto coming up. I am probably dead here, but I do want to try to DDS this guy because this guy is using bad gear. Can I get it? 2130. That is a massive hit. Oh my god, I actually got him. <laughs> hey, let's go, dude. I got the key, but I am TB'd and probably I will die, but that was just so funny, man. Yeah, I am dead here. There is just no way, but I'm fine with that. Just getting the kill is just so funny to me. And here we go. This is the number 100th kill of Callisto. What are we going to get? Some death runes and uh, here is the loot that we got so far 6.4 million gp no dragon pickaxe dead on for the elite clue scroll rate at this point one in 100 and three larens geese no way a second dragon two-handed sword which as i said before is more rare than a dragon pickaxe before we get the first dragon pickaxe i feel scammed uh, yes, I'm about to die another time here in my- Oh my god! <laughs> he died as he said easy! Did you guys see that? From Callisto, he got absolutely rolled. Uh, unfortunately, look in the chat. It said I killed him, but I didn't even get the key. That is unfortunate, but yeah, every single time I get attacked by a team, I pretty much am just dead. Oh, coming back strong after that death with an elite clue scroll, second one, and I think now we are a bit over the rate. Oh, come on. And third dragon two-handed, the 131k drop instead of the 8 million dragon pickaxe. Can I just have one dragon pickaxe? That's all I'm asking for. Oh, my God. I just realized I brought a bit too many of my cosmic runes into the wilderness. Uh, 9.5k. That is over a million worth in cosmic runes. After this kill, I will probably have to rebank. Can I get a dragon pickaxe? No. Oh, the first the long bone of the video. Not very great or anything like that. Definitely more rare than a dragon pickaxe at this point, but uh, I guess I'll take it. Some nice construction experience. We are getting closer and closer to the 512 mark for the tyrannical ring. We have just hit 200 kill counts, and as you can see on the loot, we actually got another dragon two-handed sword. So we have four of them, but still no dragon pickaxe or tyrannical ring. Oh my, what? What is this drop? Look at this. <laughs> uh, 100 grimy toad flags. That's the first time we've actually had that. 300k for a big beam and an elite clue scroll. That is what you call a drop. Oh, finally. There we go. That's the dragon pickaxe. Look at the value of that, man. 8.4 million GP. The first pickaxe. We did manage to get one. I'm happy to see that. And after that beautiful pickaxe, we are now hitting the halfway point, the 256 kill count with the dragon pickaxe being by far the most valuable item from this boss. And we're actually really lucky right now on elite clue scrolls. We've got five in 256, so double the drop rate. Another rune pickaxe. I've got so many this trip. Look at this. Look, <laughs> so many dragon pickaxe baits, man. Oh, three items in one single drop? I don't think I've seen that before. Elite, Clue Scroll, Longbone, and Runes. That is a pretty good drop. Dude, what is going on? This Justiciar has been walking around here for probably like three minutes at this point, And he has no owner. It's for the Mage Arena 2k, by the way. One of the bosses you have to kill. It's just walking around. You know, I kind of realize it's not worth bringing PK in gear because even if I bring the DDS and the Super Combat Potion, if I would spec one person out, I almost always get teamed on and I die regardless. So really the only way I can survive is by getting the log out. So getting faster with the log out is more valuable, I think, than trying to use two inventory spots for a chance of DDSing one person and then die anyways because I'm teleblocked. We are actually down to the wire on this challenge. This kill right here is going to be kill number 400. And it's been quite uneventful recently since I got the dragon pickaxe pretty much. We only have one dragon pickaxe so far unless I get one here. And we do not the room pickaxe, the bait again. But this is the loot. 32 million GP almost for 400 KC. Only one pickaxe with a drop rate of 1 in 170. And absolutely zero tyrannical rings. We have 112 kills left though.
You know what would be a very nice drop at this point? The Callisto Cub. I would love to have the collection all completed and never have to go back to this place. Yes! Let's go! Finally, a second dragon pickaxe. And now I'm only slightly unlucky on the dragon pickaxe rate. 8.5 million, man. These are worth so much right now. So we're at the point right now of 442 kill counts and we only need one last slayer task of bears to be able to finish this video. So let's see, can we get lucky and get a back to back with a slayer K perk? We cannot, but uh, I have a lot of points and I'm going to skip a few. If I get some really easy tasks, I'll probably just do them. 94 bears, that is definitely enough and that means I do not need to bring the bracelet of slaughter for all of these skills, I have enough anyway, so barrels gloves it is for some extra DPS. Listen, I'm not going to complain that this happened because it was to my benefit, but I do have to show you guys this. How many entangles this guy missed? It's up to two already and I mean, I just feel for PKers when this happens because I mean, it's all down to RNG, if you land one of the entangles you get the kill at this point, but if you miss them, well, unlucky, what are you going to do? The guy can just run away from you, get gap, because it always puts you behind slightly. Oh, now we're making money! 8.7 million, a third dragon pickaxe. Always looks so good with that red beam. I don't even know what I have set for the red beam, but uh, I'm loving it. No way, dude, what? A fourth dragon pickaxe. That was really close after the last one, actually. So I guess we're catching up on dragon pickaxes. I'm pretty sure we are lucky on them now. With no tyrannical ring in sight yet, we have just hit the 500 KC mark for some coins. And we've made a lot of money so far. 62.4 million GP. Also, 8 elite clue scrolls that we're going to be opening after this. But it's not looking good for winning this challenge. I am not sure of this guy's thought process in attacking me. He's level 86, and yeah, there he goes. I mean, he, he did give a valiant effort, I guess. He did attack me for, like, 30 seconds, but uh, I took basically no damage, and the crossbow is surprisingly strong at attacking PKers. This kill right here is 510 kill counts, only two more to go after this one for coins. KC 511 for Snapdragon Seeds, that's not bad. But this is the absolute last kill of the grind, 512 KC after this one. So this is the deciding factor. If we do not get the Tyrannical Ring here, we did lose the challenge. Uncut Ruby, Slayer's Enchantment, and Uncut Diamonds. We overall got 8 Elite Clue Scrolls, and during this entire grind, I died a total of 10 times. I think most of them could have been avoided if I just insta-logged, but I was a bit greedy sometimes, but 10 deaths is not all too bad. But let's go ahead and finish off the grind by opening these 8 Elite Caskets. I have overall 14 out of the 59 Uniques unlocked with 72 Elites, so getting one of these Uniques would be very nice. Let's go ahead and open them. Decent chance of getting a master. Actually, on drop rate, I should have one and a half of them from this. And uh, if I get one, I'm just going to do it at the end of the opening. Not going to do multiple of them. So the first one is going to be 43k. It's not looking great so far. 157k. Ooh, that is a unique Dragon Full Helm ornament kit. Very fitting with me actually having done an on drop rate on the Dragon Full Helm. But not worth that much. Five more to go. 58k elites really are not that good 210k 120k we have a 142k and the last one is oh how is that not a unique unfortunate that i already had that but 120k so how the tradition goes is that i give away half of all the loot that i got from the grind if i do lose the challenge and on top of that i give away all the value of the elite clue scrolls that i just opened and any other clue scrolls that i would have got on the grind and for this video, we have a pretty big giveaway, I'm going to be honest. The final giveaway amount is 32.6 million GP. And how you actually win this is on the screen right now. So good luck to all of you guys who want to participate in this giveaway. Now before we actually end the video, I want to give two quick shoutouts. The first one being to the clan alone zone. Right now it's really early in the morning, so not that many people are online. But if you do want to join this, you can guest in it, just like this guy, Boy of Joy. And you can ask anyone for an invite. Anyone who is a member of this clan can invite, so it's really easy to get into it. 
And secondly, I want to give a massive shout out to Jazz Cog, one of my viewers who actually made that intro for me that you saw at the beginning of the video, which I am stoked to have. It's such high quality and it just overall really impressed me what he made. So I'm really happy to be able to use that for the series as an intro. And lastly, I want to say Merry Christmas to all of you guys who do celebrate it. If you do not, then just enjoy the time off, I suppose. But until next time, guys, take care.